I've been wanting to make this video for a while because um, I figured out a better way, I guess, to test to see if you have a shorted transistor on WPC power driver boards for sure, but just about any power driver board, system three through seven definitely works. And the typical way that we've talked about doing this in the past is to set your meter to continuity check and then put one one lead on ground i'll put the black lead on ground and ground is any of these silver uh, pads on the board and you can test to see if you're on ground just by going from ground to ground and then what you do is you rake the connectors that are responsible for driving or providing ground for the solenoids and the lamps so i'm going to rake the ground connectors for the solenoids and if anything is shorted my meter is going to buzz now i'm going to rake the lamp rows and nothing is shorted now in the old days or before i started doing this i'll say we used to go one two you know like this through the all the tabs of the transistors like this it just takes a lot longer than going like that and believe me you'll find it also doing this tests whether or not the tip 36s are shorted um, if you if you attempt to touch the tab of a tip 36 it's going to say it's shorted because the tab is not where the path to ground is on a tip 36 it's actually the right leg uh, as the board is viewed like this. So if you rake the connectors, you're not only testing the tip 102s, but you're testing the tip 36s. So this is the lamp rows. These are the lamp columns. So you can't, you're not testing between ground and the pins any longer. You have to test between test, test point eight, that is. This is the 18 volt test point. And the way the lamp columns and rows work is there's 18 volts supplied at the, um, I guess, the switch for these tip 107s, I think they are. And a column transistor will turn on and allow power to flow through the switch inside the solid state transistor, the solid state switch, through the column header out to the lamp, and then back in through the row headers and the lamp that are the lamps that the CPU wants to turn on, it will turn on the switch inside of these up to eight row TIP 102 transistors. So out here, out to the lamps, back in, and then to ground here. So to test the TIP 107s, we have to place our probe on the 18 volt test point, and then we rake the lamp column headers. Oh, you see that? I can do that really fast, and you can hear that chirp. So this, the transistor associated with this pin is shorted. Now, I can do this the old-fashioned way to find it. Looks like I found it right away. But that tip 107, I think it is, yeah, is shorted. I hope that helps you guys out.